great morning. And what I want to do with you today is share with you how to love objections. Objections let us see exactly what the other person's holdups are. And if we can figure out where their holdups are and give them the information, their fear goes down, their confidence goes up, and they take action. <laughs> okay, so check this out. I get so excited with this, but let me give you an example. Let's say you go into a store, you want to look at buying clothes or a car or whatever, and a salesperson comes up to you. First thing that you do, you go on high alert and stress, and what do you tell them? Just looking. And a really good one, they don't pressure you. Hey, no worries at all. You know what? I'll be right over here whenever you have a question, want to see anything, or if there's anything I can do to help you, please just give me. And you just step aside. That salesperson just set up the next exposure. So check this out. There's four components to this. Learn to love the objections, what I tell you, but listen. And so usually you'll get the same type of things, guys. Time, money, you know, freedom, it's pyramid scam, whatever. You have to look. This is never going to change. You're always going to get these, okay? So you may as well figure out how to use these. And so the first thing that it, you, a lot of times I hear is time. I'm just too busy. You know what I mean? And they'll tell you that. And, and then what you have to do is you have to follow up after they talk about it. And you say, well... Are you just too busy? Like, are you overwhelmed busy right now? Or are you just wall to wall? You know, how busy are you? And you see, they're just overwhelmed. And then you hear this. And, and then you listen. That's the key. Number two, now we relate once we have shut up and heard what they said. And when I relate, I don't say them. I say, oh, man, I understand how you feel because me, man, when this was given to me, I was running a full-time practice, two other businesses. I had just hired a new doc. I was so stressed out. I had no time at home uh, with my wife, my daughter. I knew I had to set things up. I was just, I totally get it. I mean, it was so hard on me. And what I realized and what my friend said to me, finally, what broke through to me, I know you're under a lot of stress right now, man. I see the potential in this thing. But I love you as a friend, and I just, if you need space, that's fine, man. When you're ready, come back to me. And that took the anvil off my back, and that's what started to allow me to realize this third part is my story. And I started to realize that I was never going to have more time. My plan currently then was not working. And if it wasn't working then, why would I think it would get better with time? It's only going to magnify, right? And so I wasn't able to maybe put the money away that I wanted and have the time freedom that I wanted. And to be honest with you, I had the income. So that wasn't it. It was time and it was freedom of mind and being able to do these things with my family. And so I wanted to get off the hamster wheel. And I realized where I was wasn't going to give that to me. But when he finally sat me down and showed me this, I figured out how this could work. And I started to implement it. And now, every single 15 minutes, hour I put into this opportunity, I look at it as though a seed I planted in a year down the road, it's given me another year of freedom in my life. Three years, five years. Now, instead of going backwards, I'm going forwards and upwards. And it just, I'm so excited for that opportunity. It just blew my mind. I just got to tell you, if I could, here's the last part. If I could show you how to do this in a busy, hectic, overwhelming schedule, like you have and that I was doing as well. If I could show you how to take 15 minutes here and there and certain times a day that you could build something beautiful that's going to pay you and give you freedom and give you opportunities to take your kids places you maybe never were able to do, right? To be able to go on vacations you could never have done and actually be there and enjoy them and not worry about bills and other stresses. If I could show you how to do this, would you want to take another look at this? What do you think people are going to say to that? You've got to feel what you're saying. And when they feel that, they're going to take a look at that. I just set up the next exposure. So look at the dynamics. You have to listen to what they say. It's about them. And then we figure out where they're lacking 
and we figure out how to pour ourselves, our product and business into what they're lacking. You got to relate next. Tell them how bad it was for you. You understand. And then you got to tell your story of where you started and how stressed you were or whatever it was. It, just insert time, money, whatever it is. It's the same principles. And then if you could show them, would you? And we can do that. Hope you have a blessed day. And I pray to God in every day and every way that you and your family get better and better.